Hello everyone and welcome back to Roguecraft. I hope you guys enjoy episode 8. In the last episode, we, I believe, defeated the dragon. We we finished Roguecraft completely. Everything had been unlocked. And in today's episode, what we are going to be trying to do is starting a new run. Let me make sure I've used all my points. Yes, I have. Um, we're going to be starting a new run. And we're going to be going for the 500 skill point in a single run achievement. That's the goal. <laughs> I don't know how quickly we'll get there, but that's definitely what we would like to do today. Um, there's a lot. There's quite a lot, actually, that we would love to do today. And... Uh, um, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little while it's gonna take us a little bit but um i'm very excited to try and do this because this is a big achievement this is gonna be a lot of work i expect to be sitting here for at least an hour or two just kind of getting whatever we need out of this so what i'm gonna do first is just grab a bunch of leaves and a bunch of i mean wood for um just for to go underground just for a little more secure in, in, our, in our resources so we can smell some stuff and things like that um the other thing i want to do is find like an, a top level cave so we can get a bunch of coal and then also go straight straight down and go get as much diamonds and gold as we can because I'm not even gonna waste my time with getting copper because if I want to get this done I need I need I need I need to get um, everything as a, a four times skill point the other thing we might want to do is go for trying to get all the achievements going for or like a lot of achievements oh wow that was right there and I didn't I didn't see that that's great okay so there there's a portal that's almost finished right here which is amazing is there crying obsidian around that would be perfect Perfect. This portal is actually almost perfect. That's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> that is really insane. Huh, it's only missing a few. That's cool. Um, but anyways, I don't know how we're going to exactly do this. I see a cave over there. Um, but one of the thoughts I had was we're going to just, like, do our best and, like, go, right? All we got to do is just do what we can. And that that's kind of my only plan. <laughs> I don't have any other plan. It was just kind of get as much XP as we can from mining and from killing things. And then, yeah, that, that's it. And then get all the gold and diamonds that we can from mining. Uh, if I wanted to do the math, I guess I about need like 500 diamonds and 500 gold so it might take a little while to get there the good news is our inventory shouldn't fill up because we should be slowly using those skill points over time but it's gonna take a little while to get it so i expected this episode to go quite a long time so we're not gonna be talking too much only big moments so i don't know how long or short this episode will be if we even get it done in this episode but i'm definitely gonna try today's episode is gonna be the first attempt at the 500 achievement speedrun or not speedrun but just like the achievement thing which oh well that's bad that's not good <laughs> okay, well, it should be working now, kind of. But I have some weird glitch. I, I, I guess to be completely clear on what happened before I started. Before I started, Roadcraft was an opening. Um, I was having some issues with some of the mods, I guess. Something was conflicting for some reason. I was like, oh, maybe it needs to update. And then it, I did updated it. And then it still didn't work. And I looked through the logs and it mentioned something about the menu. So I was like, okay, let me go look for whatever um, <laughs> mods are messing with menus. Like, I, I wonder what mods do that. Maybe that could be the issue. And I was like, okay, let's go try and turn off the menu mods so one of the menu mods i turned off was fancy menu for some reason fancy menu was crashing my game i'm not really sure why so i was like okay that's fixed great and then i started the recording and i started recording and then a second ago uh, with that weird cut i crashed <laughs> i guess maybe there wasn't a weird cut i might have just like continued it but i just crashed like out of the blue out of nowhere it just i was just dead and i was like what what happened i, I didn't understand i looked at the logs i couldn't figure it out because i don't really understand the logs um and i still couldn't figure it out but what essentially happened was I clicked the options and it crashes my game. So I don't know why, but that's happening. So uh, uh, we're not going to be clicking the options at all during <laughs> this play. I hope that's fine because I crashed right now and I loaded back into this run. That's the only reason I feel safe to kind of do this anyways is because even if I do crash, I should be back to about where I was. Um, I shouldn't have lost too, too much progress if I, if I do that. So I'm going to just kind of keep going and keep running it until we, you know, uh, crash again or win or something or lose I guess but um I am having some weird issues with it which is it's strange I've never had an issue with Roadcraft before but I guess it could be one of these mods that we have installed because they're not really you know a part of it and whatever so it might be conflicting something might be crashing it I just don't know what it is it doesn't tell me what it is and it's a weirdly weird issue to have on just like the um on just like the options screen I don't it's kind of strange I don't know, it's really weird anyways okay so there's an achievement I wanted to get that really quickly while we could so there's one 
one. Um, I do probably want to go for a well, actually, I probably shouldn't even touch. I think that's what I was going for was for the achievements, and that's when I accidentally clicked options. So <laughs> I wonder if it would crash it if I touched it. I don't know though, but I'm not gonna touch it. But essentially, if we do want to go for a highest amount of like roadcraft stuff, which is I, I can't even check the achievement thing because like, I can't, I don't want to touch it and crash it. That's <laughs> but um, it's fine, it should be okay. But I, it's 500 skill points right now, we have one in total, so we need 499 more. I think we're we're, we're pretty close we're getting there um but yeah essentially we just need to get as much levels as we can if if essentially we're just getting skill points um and and just getting like skill points from leveling up and diamonds and gold that means we need about 500 diamonds 500 gold uh give or take and about 125 levels to get there which uh yeah it doesn't seem very doable does it it doesn't seem like a good idea <laughs> to do it doesn't seem like i could physically do that without like i don't know setting up some kind of farm or something it's gonna take a while like it will take a long time the only thing that i'm curious about is maybe we should go for the bosses um i think somebody was saying that it gives you like 10 i don't know if it was skill points or uh levels per on the blaze boss if i can do a few of those i can definitely get to a point where i can get a, a good bit of time saved from that so we're probably gonna go to the nether at some point we're probably gonna go fight some stuff i might just toss the fireball it's quite useless um just taking space in my inventory so there we go uh i'm gonna throw the salmon and the beef for now we probably have to get more food later but for now it's not too much of a, a, a worry um but yeah let's leave all that stuff there let's keep going let's keep mining coal we need a lot of coal for this and i would love to get like a bit of iron maybe getting a shield would be kind of nice just for explosions and arrows and things but we might be okay without it i don't know but um but yeah essentially what we're doing right now is just going at it seeing how far we get by trying our best seeing what works what doesn't we're gonna just spend some time kind of leveling up and just mining and creating some of these skill points and just doing what we can um it's definitely gonna be really hard i i, I don't expect this to be an easy go uh, a go through of, of this game so i'm gonna do my best um but yeah right now i'm gonna give some time i think i'm gonna just like go mine all this coal that's around here and then we're gonna head into one of these caves oh i thought i would be on top that's not good uh, but yeah i'm gonna do my best i will see you all once we get some more progress through but uh essentially i'm gonna just be playing mostly on my own and then we're gonna just get as much as far as we can so i'll probably see you guys once we get something else when something else big happens or you know if just we get to see something or, or whatever you know something we get to some point where i'm like oh we should probably say hi and see where we're at <laughs> but uh but yeah for right now let's keep going let's see how far we get in the next few minutes You know, actually, I just had a big idea. So gold is one of the main things we need. And gold is one of the things that we have always have trouble finding. So if we go to the nether and we go mine gold there, or if we go to a bastion and go steal their gold and then use it for our, our purposes here. So diamonds will be the main thing we need to get. Of course, getting as much gold as we can from mining is perfect because we definitely need it. Um, and also, I don't know if we'll get enough from like a singular bastion or something. But essentially what I want to do is, like I said, just go to a bastion and go loot like everything we can hopefully it'll give us some diamonds and stuff and xp um, which it should we should be relatively safe too we have like fire protection and we have like high protection on our gear um so i don't think we'll be too much of in a danger zone to do that but um that could be a pretty good option into getting as much of the gold that we need because i'm definitely going to struggle to get a little bit of this gold it's gonna take a little while but if we focus on trying to get it from a bastion which should have blocks of gold then we should be okay i'm hoping right that should be the way to go what is happening over here is this a oh it was a cave system wow okay um i'm gonna go down there is that a lava pool perfect all right so look at that lush cave over there that's so pretty that's really cool okay but what i'm gonna do is try and get around this i'm gonna use dirt walker actually uh we're gonna go to this lava pool over here and then make our 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 portal our portal our portal right next to it so we're gonna just grab it all um pick it all up and just see where we are so pick this up here there we go all right so we're gonna grab our stuff make our nether portal and then we're gonna head over the nether maybe we'll get lucky in finding the fortress soon but if we're gonna go straight to the fortress then what i also want to do is go straight to um getting a bastion so maybe on the way we'll get lucky to finding one i don't know i don't know if we'll be that lucky but i would love to go find one it's as well also you leveled up right in front of me look at that cave though look at that sick cave that's amazing also i'm not getting the obsidian it is just falling on the ground um six obsidian there we go all right perfect so ice bucket challenge another skill point to add to the list that's good so let's add these in there pop pop all right so we have eight uh do we need two more i think or something like that we need to go deeper another achievement added to the list and we are in quite a bad spot if i'm being honest um 
All right, so I, I don't actually like that being there. Let's uh, move this over here. So let's, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. So the Nether Fortress is this way somewhere. I mean, the only bad thing is that if, if I do get another fortress here, oh, it's right there. <laughs> if I do get another fortress here, like I just did, uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble um, getting to find other ones. You know what I mean? I'm gonna only be able to find the one and then I'm gonna have trouble finding the next few, but it should be fine, I guess. Uh, because I think the, the, the little compass only points to one and then we struggle. We're gonna have to struggle to find the next ones if we do wanna do the next one. But um, anyways, let's focus right now on getting XP because we're gonna definitely need that. We have a slaughter inventory four for the um for the skill points anyways oh with a skeleton skull spooky scary skeletons another achievement to add to the list um die please uh there we go and die all right so there's there's definitely a lot of xp here oops okay i'm falling <laughs> there's definitely a lot of xp here i tried to fly because i was playing even to the sky earlier so i tried to levitate that didn't work um the good news is i can't die in lava but here we are so we're already at the nether fortress um but yeah like i said i think we're gonna have a little bit of trouble finding other ones unless we get kind of lucky and just finding some more around the area which i don't think is gonna Gonna happen but we can definitely try um but yeah so right now we're gonna fight the 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 um what is it called the blaze boss whatever the hell its name is i'm gonna keep that with a skeleton skull actually we might use it um uh, what i am gonna toss is i guess a little bit of cobblestone and the raw mutton that we have as well as the lapis i don't need that stuff i also don't think i need that bed and i want to keep as much coal as we possibly can because we're gonna need a lot of it for smelting gold but at the same time we're gonna need a lot of it um we're gonna just keep it well, i mean maybe we don't need that much especially if we're gonna find gold in the bastion we don't need as much cobblestone or is, uh, not copper as much um, coal as we got i'm trying to focus here this is not going super well so good news is my health is really high <laughs> i think the boss is up here something like that there it is okay so perfect there goes the blazes and let's start our boss fight here that's gonna unleash these guys because they were behind that wall and uh yeah let's let's get to it so removing this things and these guys so what is this gonna give us is this gonna give us a bunch of skill points or is this gonna give us like a bunch of levels i'm not 100 percent sure on that but let's see what it does give us and then we can figure out from there if we want to go fight some more because if it gives us a lot of levels then that could be pretty good um but what do you give me here and now you gave me 10 for defeating the wildfire you now gain 15 in total okay so that's why we had a lot at the end of the other runs i don't think i'm going to get more for defeating more wildfires but at least that's my assumption why aren't you dying uh into fire i finally got the achievement for the blaze rods which is great um i should have already picked up the yes the blaze powder which is perfect um so we're going to use all that into making the eyes of ender um and then we're going to probably go to the end at the end of the uh, run just to try and get it, but we won't defeat the egg. If we don't kill the egg, I'm assuming that the, the run doesn't end. So I think that's what ends the run. The only thing I'm not so sure about is if if killing the dragon will like release the portal and let me go back. I, that's the only thing I'm worried about is if I can't get back, I need to be completely ready. The only reason I would go is to get... Oh my god, move! Um, the only reason I would go to like another... Um, oh, there's another blaze boss over there. Um, if The only reason I would go to another... What am I saying? Okay, well, Anyways, <laughs> I think we're talking about the end. The only reason I would go back, um, it, the only reason I would go to the end and actually like end it there. What is this? <laughs> is to like, um, is if I had everything already, if I had all my stuff ready, if I had, um, oh my God, if I had all my diamonds and gold at that point. So in case I got stuck over there, I would have everything and I would have most of my levels already used. So we already have, we have our skill gems here. Let's see, will this spawn another boss? It will actually, it will spawn another boss, but will it give us more points for doing this? Cause I don't know if it will. If it does, that'd be great because then we can really really like like camp these and use as much as we can for that point system so i'm glad that we got lucky in finding this in the same fortress because if we do get another 10 for doing this which i highly doubt then um then we can farm these guys and use them for the points which it seems like we're not getting another section of them which is what i expected it sucks but it's what i expected also this crying up sitting on the floor will also grab that for the singular skill point this is also this gives us enough levels anyways you know this lets these guys spawn and gives us some stuff to do are you much stronger than you used to be like that's that's taking a while um we get the crying obsidian that should have or that should give us a thing it's just we have our stuff full um okay you're not gonna give us the achievement this time fine i'll take it i guess it's okay i'll just leave um there we go let's get the hell out of here okay so the enemies are quite strong already which is crazy that's not good not good for us <laughs> um but yeah anyway so what the the good news is what i can do right now since i know that it doesn't give me extra points i'm gonna go try and find a bastion and i'm gonna go try and like loot that and get as much as we can oh i can't up my render distance because i can get into the settings so move out of the way oh my god okay jesus okay so bastions sometimes spawn in this biome so maybe we'll get lucky we'll go through here uh 
let's see where we're at. There's another spawner over there, actually. <laughs> let's go look at it really quickly. Hello. What's going on? One more boss time? One more boss time. That sounds good. <laughs> Third wildfire down. Now we just are going to go look for some other stuff. That's good. That's good. We got some good stuff down. It might as well, while we're here, is grab a little bit of that nether gold that we we're talking about. So, there's a, a little bit of nuggets here, which we're going to just pick up. Um, the issue is that these are going to quickly fill up my inventory. So, I am going to toss some of these bones out. Uh, I'm going to keep the flint and steel just in case. I'm going to just make a crafting table, I guess, for right now. And then we're going to start um, crafting these into bars. So, let me mark gold like this and then just make... That's not what I want. Like, there we go. So, it's not. there's no way that's the... Ugh, okay, oh, I'm going to just not do that then because that takes too long. I'm going to have to click it a thousand times so what we're gonna do right now is just kind of mine look around see what we can find if we can find a bastion that'd be perfect if we can't that's fine as well but we should be okay to kind of just look around it'll be safe um this is definitely faster than walking around in the soul sand because that was taking way too long but uh here we are okay so let's see maybe we'll get lucky is that another fortress <laughs> maybe we'll get lucky and find a bastion i don't need another fortress but you know take it i guess but we can kill things on the way we're already level 24 which is perfect goodbye uh let's get up to this thing i guess there's nothing here other than this so let's grab this guy i guess maybe there, maybe there'll be seven chests or something maybe we can find some diamonds or whatever um but let's keep looking around it's actually going quite well we already got 23 bits of gold which is not amazing but it's going pretty well and i think nether quartz actually gives you a lot of xp if i'm not mistaken so i'm taking a lot of it just so i can um gain my levels a little get a little, a little higher because right now this is like the main source of xp it's gonna be the mining of the gold and then the smelting of it later and you know all that stuff so i do want to like drop some stuff and leave it behind at least the only good thing is at least i'm not looking forward to getting something is that another spawner right there yes it is we can go grab some more stuff here maybe this i don't know if this guy even gives me levels but it'd be great if he did because i want to get it oh the only good thing is he exposed all that gold is back there so i can go get that um but this is cool like i love fighting this boss a few times over it's just very interesting to do but i wish it gave me something for fighting it a few times because uh, you know how annoying it is to do this you know i would love it for it for it to give me some levels and things like that i just don't see the thing actually giving me any xp at least it doesn't look like it at least i'm not 100 sure about that though it might give me some xp why not why are you so strong now stop that <laughs> die <laughs> they have 60 health is that like way higher than they usually do i actually have no idea no idea <laughs> all right so looking at the rest of this gold though that's good we can get this out and we can actually keep this and keep using it for mining uh keeping this for this for the um you know gold <laughs> there's another boss over there it's perfect i just got out of the other room i want to go fight it again <laughs> it gives me some good practice but also like maybe i'm getting some levels from at least the enemies it's spawning but also like i said it's clearing out an area for me to get some of this stuff so it gives me a good spot and they actually give me a good clearing this time so now i can see out <laughs> now i can actually get out of here because I, I felt kind of stuck in here so now that we can see this a little bit better we can actually get out of here which i really do want to do so there goes the wildfire yet again i really want to kill these guys for xp but they're getting a little too strong for me they're just taking too long i mean like they're not difficult they just they get hit they get knocked back and then i can't kill them it's like oh uh... so there we go all right so we're doing well we're doing good we have a good amount of xp we have a good amount of skill points we have a good amount of all the stuff that here so that should give us more of that but i don't even care that much about it anymore i don't want to go super far is the issue i don't want to go like crazy far to go find stuff but at the same time this is gonna be a long run i feel like we should just go as far as we can um you know and we can we can make our way back it'll be fine let's just keep walking around but maybe if we get lucky you know we can um go the right direction and end up back at the portal anyways but i need the compass to do that and i don't know where it is it's like um Actually, the, the exit seems to be this way. Uh, somewhere this way. So let's look around this direction. These aren't giving me really any experience, huh? This is not this is not really doing it. Um, some gold over there, which is great. I'm going to toss this and the quartz that I picked up at some point. <laughs> All right, we already are over our first stack of gold, which is perfect. The only thing we really do need is diamonds at this point, but I don't know. I really do want to go back at some point and just get diamonds. Um, what I can do, if I really want to do it, is actually go back to that nether fortress and go get the obsidian out of the floor and make ourselves another portal so we could spawn somewhere else maybe get lucky in finding diamonds in a different area and then still head home in the other direction so the portal oh my god the portal is right here or not the portal the um the structure of the nether fortress is here so maybe we can get back to where we were which it's up here yeah right here how much is here actually i think there is enough right okay so we're in a completely different location it's leading me back to the stronghold now which is probably not the best but let's go down and look for a cave oh look there's already lightning creepers okay <laughs> something to be careful about um but yeah let's go into this cave there seems to actually we actually kind of got lucky here huh um 
It seems like we can go straight down to diamond level with this little tiny tunnel here. I'm gonna just grab all the coal that I can. It seems like that could be useful, you know, maybe, maybe. Well, at least not like useful for coal, but for XP. Um, but yeah, we, we got a pretty good lucky spawn here with that nether portal. So now going down into this lair, we can just go kill everything we see, but also um, go look for the diamonds that we need. So maybe we get into that deep slate like opening, we should be fine. Also, I'm gonna just get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, and you. There we go. <laughs> and this should give us some more XP as well, which is great. It gives us quite a lot, actually. And the, there's a bunch of redstone around, which also gives us a bunch of XP. Oh my god, okay. So this is going kind of well, you know? I mean, the XP that we, as, as we get higher in XP, it's gonna get harder and harder, which is the annoying part. So maybe when we defeat the dragon, we should, I don't know if it gives us the XP that it usually does but if it does we're gonna need to be pretty high already and then hopefully it gives xp and get us to like the 100 and something that we need the only thing is I, I just find it difficult to, to figure out how we're gonna get there you know what i mean like it's gonna be hard to get to that level of xp without a big form or something um even though we have like looting on our sword which i don't even know if rolls that table again for xp i, I have no idea but you know it'd be great if we can keep all this xp and like get extra and extra you know is this gonna be difficult i don't is this possible like i do wonder if somebody has ever done this before in like less than eight hours <laughs> because I, that's gonna take a while the only good thing is that if we do take a while and, and this episode goes on for long enough and maybe i'm getting tired of playing i can save and quit and start another day and like we can have this and do a two-parter episode if we really want to um but i don't know it's gonna it's gonna be a, a bit of a time it's time sink to do this i don't want to be playing for too long so if i hit like one o'clock if i'm already here for like two hours that'll probably call it for me even if we're not there yet but if i'm still down to keep going and we're not dead or anything then uh we'll just continue to run the next episode look at that diamond already perfect uh let's get rid of that little bit of gold that we got and uh, there we go perfect six uh and nine from like two of them or three of them i don't know uh, that's great okay so i guess we're going in the right direction probably uh let's see are we going I'm afraid to click any buttons because I don't want the game to crash. <laughs> but um, are we going the right way? I'm going to try F3. Okay, F3 does work. Negative 22. Is negative 22 like really low or is it not low enough? Because this doesn't feel right. Okay, great. I actually did find a kind of cave system. It did take a little while, but we didn't find anything really. Uh, but we got into an area, an open area, but we're probably going to have to still mine out of here. Uh, unless we got lucky somewhere in here. Oh, hello. Thank you for being there, because I, I, I wasn't going to enter, enter this cave ever if I didn't hear that skeleton. <laughs> I was just like walking around this cave, which sucked. Uh, okay, so there's some gold there we want to grab. So I'm going to toss out another stack of coal, and we're going to grab all these diamonds. And actually, what we probably want to be doing already is grabbing this and making some skill points. So... Let's grab a skill and then make the skill points so that we have 24 in total now which is great we're, we're making a good good bit of progress the only good news is that we might not need as many levels as we have uh, or as we think we do because we're getting we got 16 in total already from just doing achievements and stuff like that which is great i'm very happy that we got some extras there um, i would love to get some more extras from the achievements but they don't work, like weigh as much as they used to so i just have to do a lot of achievements which is going to be a little more difficult to do but um we'll definitely see what we find and what we can do maybe there are like regular Mind of achievements that I'm like, oh yeah, I, I forgot about that. Let's do that. But um, I don't see anything currently in my in my head that I'm like, okay, yeah, we can physically do this. There might be some trading ones. I thought the crying obsidian one was one, but I think it's not working for some reason. Like sometimes it feels like the the achievements don't reset per run, so I don't get the achievement again. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I don't. I feel like that's a little bit of a glitch. It's kind of strange. But um, but yeah, we're doing our best here and trying to find what we can. Uh, but if we can find some good achievements to work with, that'd be great. It's just difficult. <laughs> so, you know, I, I like the cover me in diamonds and cover me in netherite and things like that. I don't get that every time. I, I don't have the netherite either this time. But um, I didn't get the cover me in diamonds achievement, I don't think, this time either. Like, it should be giving me that every time, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know. It At least is what I thought. That's the way it sounded like. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. Okay, there we go. We have 36 in total. That's pretty good. Not bad. Not a bad start. Uh, now, continuing on, seeing what else we find. Some more gold, which is perfect. But yeah, it's going to it's gonna take us a little while to get there. I'm going to have a lot of it, a lot of trouble. Right. So, you know, we're going to do our best. If we can convert everything we have already, which is 30, uh, then we can have like 120 skill points or something like that, you know, to get, right? Um, but that's still nowhere near enough. We need a lot more than that. <laughs> so, you know, on to the slow grind. Let's keep going.
All right, well, it seems like we're about 40 minutes into a run, and we've gotten into a bigger cave, finally. We've kind of been strip mining for a little while because we got a little lost, and we're kind of heading towards the stronghold just to... I was hoping to find a cave this direction, which I kind of did. I don't know if we're at the stronghold yet, but we're going in that direction, and I hit another cave system, which is great because I was kind of just strip mining for a little while. There wasn't much to see. Um... But, you know, we're doing our best. We're at 33 levels, so that means, and we have um, 28 skill gems left. We're not getting that many diamonds to use. We have still have 13, so we can actually go make those really quickly. So skill points, we can make another. We have another bit of 48. So that's pretty good. That's not bad. That's a good start. Good, good start. We're not making too much progress, though. We're going still quite slowly, but it's still something, you know? 48 is better than... 47 <laughs> so we're making some good progress it's a slow but good progress and we have been already at it for like 40 minutes the thing that we're lacking right now to make all of our skill points is the diamonds actually gold we're finding quite a lot uh, we've gotten a few smelted up and we've gotten a bit uh, I still think going to the actual um, bastions would be a good idea I just don't think I need that much gold right now that's not the thing we're lacking we're still lacking more of the diamonds which sucks because that's the only thing I can't really cheese and do another way of doing it so so we're gonna have to really work on getting those diamonds. It's gonna take us a little while, but um, it could be pretty good if we just keep kind of going. You know, it gives more XP to mine the diamonds. It gives us more XP to mine redstone and um, and lapis and all those things. We're already difficulty level seven, which is is crazy. <laughs> that just shows us how long we've been here. But um, you know, we're going. I see some diamonds down there, which is great. But yeah, it's going slowly. You know, we're not getting a lot of stuff out of this. That gave us a, a bit more. That's that's a thirty and sevens. That gave us another few. Um, yeah, we're not we're not finding quite a lot. We're, we're going slowish, you know, it's not not going crazy fast, but uh, 60 points now. And uh, yeah, we should be fine. As long as we don't like insta die to something, we should be okay. It's just that's the only worry is that like a charge creeper is gonna come out of nowhere and just like destroy everything. Like that's the worry here. Um, so when you get the hell out of here, how did I get in here? I think it was through here, right? Almost an hour in now. It seems we finally made ourselves like we, we finally made our way back up to like a high cave. It seems like we're in like a, almost like a ravine. And this is the closest I've gotten to finding a big cave. I, I've yet to find an actual big deep slate cave. It's taken me quite a while, but I still haven't done it. Um, but we found this first somehow. So we were kind of mining around. I was like, maybe I should go a little higher. And I ended up up here. Uh, I, I found a, I heard a spider and I was like, let me go look for it. And I ended up this way. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Wow, that guy's got full. Cool another right over there i'm gonna head back down though because i do want to get into the deep slate caves it's just we're not finding any currently so i'm gonna head back into the deep slate area which should be a little lower than this which i guess is down here take me down please uh there's that is that, is that guy following me it doesn't seem like it um there's some coals water yeah let's just uh get the hell out of here and keep going down <laughs> all right i'm gonna probably take a break in a hot second but i guess we're going we're, we're doing things we're making progress 35 levels we have 23 skill points left. We have 64 in total. 500 seems far, far away. <laughs> Maybe for beating the dragon, we got some. It might give us something, but if I'm going to take a guess, it's going to be like 10 again. So I, I don't want to bank on getting a bunch from the dragon. If at most, let's say 20. Um, but it's not like it's going to give us 100. So we need to worry about that. So once we get there, we sure do have like 400 and something if we want to get to the 500. But, uh, but yeah, let, let's just keep going. Maybe we'll find something on the way and um, we'll head back to the dragon or head to the dragon at some point. I, I don't know if it actually will let us go home after. I, I don't remember if it did or didn't. I just know that once we defeated the egg, the run, the run ended, something like that. So things to worry about. <laughs> All right, now that we've hit an hour and like five minutes, I'm gonna go take a small break. I set up a little section here for gold to smelt and uh, we're gonna kind of just leave it there because I need this to smelt up so we can actually make some of our skill points because, well, actually I think we have enough now, but I'm gonna let it all smelt just so we can like let it go and we can have that in our inventory for later. But now we can make 15 more of these things, which puts us at 140. So we're already at our highest amount of skill points we've ever earned and we still have five skill gems left. So we can make a few more, but well, we can't right now because we're out of diamonds, but we're getting there. We're, we're going. We're 140, which means we're like a fourth of the way. <laughs> um, so I'm going to let this run. I'm going to get up for a hot second and then we're going to come back and keep playing. Um, I don't know how we're going to do the episodes because I, I honestly might have to split this into a few days because this is going to take a while. I could do it all today or at least a lot of it today. And then maybe another day I'll come back and finish this because this is going to take a while. I definitely need to, to take breaks. <laughs> I'm already one hour in. 
time, which is my normal recording time for an episode. And Jesus Christ, there's a lot to do. Oh man, I, I should be able to do it, but it's gonna take me a while. So we're probably gonna split it over some time, but we'll get it done, you know? We'll get it, we'll get it completely done eventually. It's just gonna take a little bit, you know, just like a little bit. Uh, let's take out some of these and put them into other machines. Um, yeah, we're fine. All right, I'll be right back and I'll see you guys when something else major happens or, or whatever. <laughs> see you guys in a bit. Well, that's not good. I've just come back from the break and the zombies now have totems of undying on them. Um, even I don't got one of those. I want one of those. How come I can buy one of those? What the hell? All right. Well, that's going to make things a little more difficult if the highest tier zombies have totems of undying. Okay. Well, then what we got to do is just speed things up. So here are the diamonds. Let's grab some more gold and diamonds and let's keep going. I, I, I had the thought of... Um, I, th I I guess I think Endermen are a good source of of XP. I, th I think they are at least. So if we do go to the end, even if we don't make like that massive farm or something for them, even just on the end island, they could be a pretty good set of spawn. You know, what is this? Skeleton spawner. Okay. Well, we could set you up as a farm. <laughs> I don't know how good this is going to be, but you know, it could be nice. Here we go. All right. So uh we need some torches on this thing i'm like oh it's kind of bright in here I, I i did that let me uh let me take that all right so what we're gonna do is actually maybe optimally make this into like a good good farm maybe we could actually farm xp here i mean this could be the easiest way to do it right is to get some xp from from skeleton spawner um plus it gives you extra stuff but I'll, honestly i don't need anything else so what we're gonna do is renovate this area a lot i'm at least taking out this area one block wide so it's gonna be a little different than what's going on here so what do i remove another rack i don't need that so getting going one back one block back should help with the spawns i think i mean it should help with giving it more area but i'm not 100 sure if that's gonna help or not but it should i think giving it more area is a pretty good idea so we're gonna take out all this section here it should give us all the area to spawn and we'll push them <coughs> into a good corner and then we'll um and then we'll we'll just start farming you know it should be fine so i've never actually expanded the farm before i always keep it kind of at the level it's at you know i don't usually make it a little bit bigger but since we're trying to go for as much xp and, and all that stuff right now even if this does take quite a while it's still safer and easier to use than anything else so let's see uh one two three four one two three one two three four or actually one two three and one two three so this one goes farther so i want to push everything another wall back except for the one that's already at four so hi what are you doing so i do want to set this up properly so let's take out some of the stuff and build up the walls all right so that's the entire room enclosed in a four by four area so it goes four blocks um i probably also want to have this go one how many blocks tall is this it's a uh, one two three blocks tall we could probably raise the roof a little maybe just one block up and then we're gonna have this floating probably so it's a little higher off the ground and it can spawn stuff in a bigger room so i'm hoping this can counteract like the spawns in the other areas because i th i know this is a, a room that's open so if i I want to do anything and try and fix it i gotta light it up so what we're gonna just do is kind of like light this area up a little bit just so there's less spawns in the immediate area around it and then we're gonna really quickly just kind of set up the stuff i do need to find another water bucket though that's something i'm definitely gonna like desperately need i don't have that right now so maybe in the cave surrounding this there's like a water bucket somewhere um i don't know if we'll get kind of lucky looking for that but you know we'll see uh can you just yep there you go thank you uh oh there's diamonds over here perfect all right good 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 because we still need diamonds we still need all that stuff but XP right now is going to be our main worry. So I'm glad that we're doing this. I'm glad. And I want to see if it works. You know, it might not work like at all, but it could be something quite useful if we do it properly. So lighting up all these caves around, at least this mine shaft is lit up, which gives us, it saves us a lot of time. And then um, maybe there's some other areas that we're going to be missing, but for right now, it's not too bad. So that's fine. We'll get some water later. So I'm going to take it down at least two blocks. So it's three, uh, three to the floor. And then we should be fine there. Probably. I don't know. Actually, maybe, maybe we'll lower it four, but right now i think this is okay but we probably could lower it to a fourth one so let's go to that um so this is actually well actually only this is only three so three is here <laughs> that's true we've just hit difficulty level 11 this is the longest i've been on a singular run in roadcraft because this is already like an hour and a half of time we've been on this run for quite a while now so i'm hoping this is worth it and if it's not well then that kind of sucks but at least i can slow down and kind of take a break
break because running around trying to find a bunch of diamonds and stuff like that was really taking it out of me. <laughs> I really wanted to just like sit down and like relax for a little while. So I'm kind of glad that we are doing this. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's look at this area. We do want to light up most of this place and um, just kind of get rid of the spawns around here. Oh, there's more skeletons. So that's bad. We don't want that to be happening. Skeletons around the area shouldn't be happening because we definitely want it lit up and perfectly safe for our other skeletons to spawn. So if the, hopefully there's not a gap uh, underneath the spawner or above the spawner, like too big of a cave system around there, but we should be fine. I've been kind of unlucky finding caves, so it might be kind of good to, to not have to worry about that because I, I haven't been finding any caves, so there hasn't been, there shouldn't be that many spots for things to spawn, but we should be fine. So let's go down again. Let's start mining this out completely and I'll see you all once we have most of this done and we probably go get the, the water because we, we still got to find at least a bucket more of water. All right, I don't know how well this is gonna work it might work really really badly but it's done the skeleton farm is working and it's it's functioning oh god they're spawning with thorns that sucks oh wait is my health going down over time wait the longer i take on this run the the harder it's gonna get oh like not even just the difficulty level my health is going down i didn't even notice that i've been just been like chilling making the stupid skeleton farm <laughs> and i seem to be losing health in the process uh oh that's not good well that was good though i actually quite like that farm um but uh we'll sit here for a little while or right, this episode's probably cut short I, I think that's gonna, gonna well maybe not cut short but for me i think i'm probably gonna take a break in a hot second because i there's no way i can do this for another few hours like i'm gonna be too exhausted to do that so i'm gonna just kind of chill around here and just see where we're at um it seems like the water actually is here so if we want to yeah there's the water so we don't want that to happen <laughs> i'll put our torches back on the ground um <clears throat> it just looks like i'm closer to the, to the place where i want to be here so maybe the spawn rates will go higher if I'm closer to the spawner, but this is going to take too long. <laughs> so maybe this was not a good idea. Um, in other runs, maybe this could be not bad, but you know, it's actually giving me some XP too, right? It's not terrible. Um, but if my health goes down every little while, that might be bad. That would be really bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> if I like eventually get down to like a heart, that would be terrible. So I think I'm going to just sit here for a little while. It's not going to be as helpful as I thought it was going to be, but it was nice to take a little break and just kind of chill out doing what I was doing. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just, well, I guess we'll sit here for a little while longer. I'm going to smelt some of the gold that we have just so we can get some of it out of the way. So putting that in there and that in there, and we'll just keep using the farm while we're here. I actually like this design. So I might do this in another, in like my vanilla let's play if I find one, because this would be pretty good, especially for bones and stuff and for arrows. That'd be great um but anyways for right now we have one two three stacks of gold so how much how much in total is that hold on after i kill this guy i'll figure it out so it's 189 gold it looks like i think that i think that's the way i counted that correctly um but i, I don't know is that enough gold for what we need to go going forward like i'm gonna grab more gold anyways if i see more gold i'm gonna grab more gold are, of course our main priority right now is levels and diamonds because we don't have enough of those um we just got another skill gem for that but you know we need more gold we need more diamonds we just hit over a stack so that's good and yes look our health is going down as we go on so this is going to be a little bit harder of a run than i thought um so what we're going to do is get the hell out of here and we're going to go actually mining for a little while and i think then we're going to probably call it quits at some point where's the door there it is um so this was back the direction we were i'm going to go mining around just work a little bit see if we can find some more gold some more diamonds and then at some point we'll probably head to the end just because we need to do that but um the bad news is that if we don't have enough diamonds and we can't get back then um that could be pretty bad and like if we if we get away over there we're like at 400 like stupid points or something and and then we can't get back to go get like five more diamonds or something that would be the worst ending possible so we need to try and avoid that um, okay, so we have some more diamonds. I'm gonna grab out. Oh, actually, I think I left the crafting table there. That's fine. I'll just make more. Um, so we need to go to skill gems. We can make five more, which is all the skill points we have. That's 177 in total, which means 177 is pretty good. We're not halfway yet, but we're pretty far along. So now our issue, also that, I don't want to have that to happen. Uh, or now our issue going forward is levels, um, as well as still diamonds. We still need more diamonds, but we could still make a whole another one 
if we had um if we had a skill point or actually we do have a skill point but you know i probably want to keep it on my um, in my person so i don't lose it or something for a little while um but i think the other thing i'm going to do actually is probably head to the stronghold and um just kind of like mine around like that we'll just look around the caves while we uh we'll get diamonds and gold we'll head straight to the stronghold so kind of see if we find a big cave like this then we'll keep looking around but you know after that i don't know what we're gonna do we're just working on it we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going at it but this might not be the way to do it we're probably gonna have to go quicker next time the only good news is that if we have better armor better gear we can probably do it a little faster and i'll feel a little safer going forward uh, especially even if we take this long having better gear and stuff like that would be nice but it's still quite a difficult journey isn't it so i'm not looking forward to this this is gonna take a little bit update on the progress we're on difficulty level 14 and um spiders are now invisible by the way that's that's a new one that's definitely not not something that's happened before um <laughs> that's that's not good that's not that's not very good i, I don't like that uh, but you can see their face you can see their eyes they're glowing but uh they, they don't they don't look visible they you can't see them at all <laughs> so um yeah we're, we're reaching a point where i think this is getting quite hard um uh like a oh my god the charge creeper just exploded in front of me it didn't kill me because i wasn't like directly next to it but uh it, it got close and it didn't do a lot of damage so i feel a little confident about that but the spiders are invisible so that's not good i don't like that that's not fun um but anyways we're reaching almost two hours at the two hour mark we're probably gonna stop for the day this is taking quite a while <laughs> i mean i expected it to take a while i just was hoping two hours was gonna be the while but it seems like we're going for a little longer than that so yeah yeah, the good news is, is that we're getting um, more skill points and we're getting more diamonds as we go through. Like we just found a bunch more right there, which is great. Um, we hadn't found some in a little while, so it's pretty good. Uh, but we have 46 diamonds. We have this many gold and we have another stack and two stacks actually of gold in inventory. So in gold, we probably have enough to make it to the end. So if we wanted to go to the end already, we probably could do it with the gold that we have. The thing that we're missing now is diamonds. We need a lot more. Because essentially, if you think about it, the, the diamonds and the gold, you need about one per skill point. That's pretty much what the ratio is. It's one every skill point we need pretty much. So if I have 64 uh, diamonds, that means I can only get 64 more levels. So that's not enough. That's, that's not going to get us to the number that we need. We need 500, right? So 177 plus 64, even if you're not very good at math, it's not going to make it a 500. So we're not getting there yet. So we need more diamonds. We need to collect a lot, lot more diamonds. And uh, I'm hoping to find more of those big caves. It's just been really difficult to find like anything. It's I've been having so much trouble finding like much of anything. It's just so annoying. So, you know, I'm not I'm not excited to worry about that, you know, right now. Right now it's I just want to get through this and I just want to get to the end of the 500 goal right and once we have the 500 skill points what well, if we get that even if we lose here today even if we die which I don't think is gonna happen what we're probably gonna do is save and quit and uh, we'll continue it next time because I think it should save our progress um then when we actually do finish the run or if we lose or win um we'll have enough to level up literally everything in our arsenal at back home in the in the hub so either way we kind of win but that means that we're gonna do another episode of this uh, and good let's go we finally actually entered a good big cave which is something i've been wanting for a long time so finally we're here um but enemies are quite strong now so that's a little bit of the worry and especially the ones with the totems that's a little bit of a push because these are the ones they also have fire damage which is uh, i'm immune to but they also do quite a little bit of knockback and i think they have thorns and uh that's not a good time <laughs> it's not very fun to mess with those guys so i'm hoping that that we can uh, we get a little bit less of them as we well we're not gonna get less but i hope we don't we don't counter too many of them going forward because that's gonna be quite difficult to deal with they are a little annoying to deal with so you know i wish we had all of those things i wish we had a totem and dying why don't we have a totem and dying i wish i could have bought one of those but i, I guess it's not a uh, on the buying list for for reasons you know um it's probably a little too op if i had to take a guess but uh having a arch oh my god he's got speed the only good news is like as you can see my health isn't going down much but god that that bow is strong that that punch bow it definitely has like punch two on it there we go okay so keep looking around I, I do think we have enough gold already but we could still collect some i was about to toss out my skill gems i was like i don't know what these things are uh i'm gonna toss out the birch logs oops i'm gonna toss out those i want to keep the skulls just in case i decided to go back to the nether and like get one more and fight the wither but you know whatever all right health actually already as you're still here is uh is gone down to the one row again we don't have that much health anymore which is a little bit of a worry and look there's a spider um it's a little bit of a worry which it actually is worrying me because i think i could die 
if I don't deal with this quickly. There's three of the top tier skeletons. Actually, there's one of the top tiers, or two of them. I see the, the two with the totem. So let's get rid of the one without the totem and then, you know, deal with the rest. That guy killed the other guy. I didn't do that. <laughs> if I can get him in the lava or something, that'd be pretty good. <clears throat> oh my God, I've been playing for so long, I'm losing my voice. That, that's that's how long I've been going at this. <laughs> it's taking a little while. Go into the lava, go into the lava. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right now my biggest worry is the XP that we're gonna get. The only good news is that once we get to the end, I think we encounter less of these mobs and we just encounter Endermen, which are probably gonna be pretty buffed at this point, but at least we don't have to deal with bows and arrows and stuff like that, at least going forward. Oh, that was lucky. That's good. I'm mining, I'm mining redstone just for the XP, like literally for no other reason. You know what? I'm going to toss those skins and skulls. I don't think I need them anymore. Um, but I need more skill gems at this point. I'm running low on them. So we definitely need a lot more. Oh, that's such a worry. I, I Diamonds are so rare. Like, I, I wish I could get more a little easier. It's just, I don't think there's another way to do this. Like, is there a way to farm diamonds in vanilla Minecraft? I don't, I don't really think there is. But other than grinding for them like the way I am right now, it's just going to take a little while. <laughs> so my only solace is that I have I have a good big health bar that, um, that has already lost half of its health. But <laughs> we might get there. <laughs> before we run out of health maybe possibly uh i thought those were diamonds that is a creeper those are diamonds <laughs> okay that's quite a bit it's quite a bit and then having like a high fortune on these things is pretty good we're gonna get 27 more um like no matter what i don't think we're there at the point we need to be yet we need to get more diamonds the good thing would be is if we could like go to the end and then of course come back to get all the diamonds we needed or something like that you know what i mean like if we could travel back and forth but um obviously that doesn't seem to be the way things are going there's too many of those guys i'm gonna just ignore them <laughs> There's an Enderman there, which is good, um, I guess. I don't know. Good or bad. I'm just going to get rid of him. You oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad I still played because that, that ended that. <laughs> um 177 points was our max there so we couldn't get any higher than that um we want a higher speed probably we want a higher attack damage we want a higher attack speed and oh wait what was this attack speed attack damage oh regular speed was what i had um i'm gonna upgrade my armor finally to the max invulnerable shield at home perfect so we got our our max there um i guess i do want to start upgrading my bow because we're probably going to want to use it from now on <laughs> i can finally upgrade that to max upgrade that one too i still have like 120 112 points i do want to get through this before i get through anything else so you know the aquafin is maxed feather falling on a max that protection higher uh that's maxed that's maxed i can i can have a higher looting which is good higher sharpness which is good that's maxed out and efficiency can go higher which i didn't even know it could go higher oh that's sick okay well i'm sad that i died but good news is that we can upgrade all this stuff while we're here so now in the next one when we actually do it um we'll be perfectly fine uh our armor is maxed our sword sword tool and sword is maxed what i think i am going to do though is actually get rid of fireball and use drill again and then we're gonna max out drill because drill is very useful i don't think this can go up anymore no i can't um I, of course i can upgrade like dirt walker or something like that how much do we have do we have enough for a, a thing here maybe we, should we go for like tank or something or healer uh i don't know i think we can go with tank i think tank might be our best bet since we need to actually um we need to survive longer so i think that's going to be our best shot so upgrading mining all the way is, is helpful upgrading um what are the other ones we have we have dirt walker quick heal and drill i can't upgrade quick heal anymore i can't upgrade drill anymore and i guess dirt walker is something we probably want to get so there's our third dirt walker so much points do we have five so what do we do with these five uh i can put something into here max your extra, extra mana that's good okay well i didn't think i was gonna lose i can tell you that much but now that we did i'm kind of happy about it because I, I wanted to end recording already uh so we're gonna cut it anyways but in the next run i guess we're gonna have to really try that means another episode of roadcraft for you guys i hope you guys enjoy that um but we've leveled up a lot of stuff everything is maxed out in in that section behind me i can upgrade more of those things i can unlock more of those things and i can of course unlock more of those i think tank is still our best bet but now that we have another right gear and just better defense and attack speed and attack damage i feel a little safer but uh oh and a higher efficiency which is good actually um <clears throat> so going forward hopefully we'll have an easier time of finding diamonds and any easier time of getting through blocks that were taking a long time to mine uh and of course we have the big drill which will have give us a, a better chance of of getting to big caves um and if we don't then we have that thing to, to help us go through it quickly so if we upgrade anything next time if we lose it will be the mana stuff because that would be very helpful to us so <clears throat> i hope you guys enjoyed this episode this is we're hitting two hours so i hope you guys enjoyed this two hour playthrough of this i wasn't expecting to die so i hope this isn't a short short episode so i hope you guys enjoyed that i think i talked for quite a while this should be a, a relatively longish episode 
happen. But yeah, we've unlocked the tank. That's what we're going to be using next time. Um, we have upgraded all the drill, dirt walker, and quick heals upgraded, all that stuff there. And I think we should be good to actually continue this Let's Play. So episode 9, we'll be trying it again. We'll be trying for the 500, like, goal achievement. Hopefully, if it takes me two hours again, at that point, I hope to be a lot farther ahead than where I was in the last one. We're not going to waste our time on any spawners. We're going to try and get all the diamonds and all the gold that we can as quickly as possible. And then we're going to head to the end and hopefully have everything we need. At least that's what I'm hoping for. But I mean, you know, we'll see. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you all in the next one. This was a lot of fun, actually. I enjoyed it more than I thought it was, but it is really difficult. So I don't think I'm going to be recording this for a little while again because <laughs> that was tiring. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. See you guys then. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.